Welcome back to my studio. Today is uh, a great opportunity to talk about uh, a little bit mixed up uh, two stories. One is uh, about some comments that recently I got about the carbon fiber and steel and alloy uh, metals uh, used for the bike frames. About that the 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 aluminum and or the uh, aluminum alloys or steel alloys. Uh, the softening during their uh, life cycle but uh, it seems to a lot of people that's not uh, clear enough that all the metals are hardening uh, within its life cycle so uh, recently just yesterday uh, this is my my mountain bike which was uh, with me about uh, over 50,000 kilometers uh, normally I didn't use any suspension, it was a rigid fork in front uh, and yeah, yesterday was the last day that uh, we were joining our powers together uh, because the material is so fatigue uh, that uh, eventually uh, cracked uh, entirely uh, one crack for instance is around the uh, Maybe it will be more clear if I open this quick release. Yes, it's in here. Uh, one crack, uh, as we can see, it's around in here. Uh, but it was not so so essential or, or let's say, uh, problematic. Uh, another one, and the big one, uh, happened yesterday. And it is in here. So you can see this is severely, uh, severely uh, fatigue material uh, because I was barely able to come back home uh, recently because when I noticed some, some uh, cracks uh, in here, I just drill two holes and just place some kind of uh, safety metal uh, thin uh, material just in case if it cracks totally that um, it will still hold uh, the, the frame together eventually uh, what I can say about this um, this is not happening because the frame would be more and more soft but this is happening because the frame becomes more and more stiff and it doesn't allow anymore any elastic deformation so because it's so hard and hardening until the maximum fatigue limit when you're still applying the forces on the crank eventually it, it, it breaks out I'm not gonna say that um, uh, all the bikes from steel would withstand only 50,000 this bike was used only even with the with the kitchen chair which was attached in here you see it's a little bit the we have a slight deformation on the tubes and it was uh, quite severely uh, loaded pair of tubes around this section i would say that uh, for road bikes the life life expectancy of uh, chrome olive then still uh, would be probably let's say two thirds more than this if if ridden and maintained uh, in the right order uh, but for the carbon bikes, mountain bike uh, versions I would say 25-30 thousand kilometers because uh, let's say the steel is the most reliable material for the bike uh, frames uh, but damage like this it just shows you how um, material is actually breaks out because of the hardening effect. Uh, if this is not uh, good proof enough, then people will have to find or Google it on some other places, but definitely the steel is hardening. All the aluminum alloys are hardening. That's why eventually they crack. With the carbon fiber, it's a little bit different. The problem is that epoxy resin, which is inside. Some people say, yeah, it's the only ultraviolet uh, 
sun, direct sunlight can damage the carbon fiber and so on. The problem is the process. Even the, the most expensive uh, bike frames, they still have some, let's say, small uh, air uh, uh, bubbles trapped inside the, the, the structure. Which means the carbon at that places don't have any support. Because it doesn't have any support, it allows what? Deflection. And because the carbon itself doesn't allow any deflection, it starts to produce a small, tiny, microscopic uh, fractures, which leads more and more and more bigger ones. So, uh, all the carbon fibers which I was seeing and tested, after 20,000 kilometers, they're very soft. Even if you put the totally new, new um, wheels, pair of wheels, especially on the rear, uh, triangle, uh, you would notice that it's elastic. It's very, it's very bending all over the the places. Even uh, in some cases, uh, there is there is a slight, there is a slight uh, deformation or let's say uh, rubbing the tires on the on the on the rear fork. This in here, the damage is made because of the mud, because if you have a lot of mud on the on the tires it's smashing and cleaning the tire over these edges but i never had issues that any kind of uh, problem of rubbing the tire or or wheel uh, from the brake pads which happens obviously on all the carbon frames so how the people will explain to themselves why is that happening well it's happening because it's not stiff enough anymore and it's bending and majority of, of carbon frames, if you take a look, even if the, the wheel is in the center, you will see that normally this fork is very close to the, to the, to the uh, tire. Why is that? Because the, the formation of the rear triangle is so severe, but people think that's nothing. I mean, it's, it's personal preference. You, you, you can live with that or not. But for me, carbon frame is not something that would be used on long term or very reliable material for the bike uh, uh, main uh, structural material. So uh, in here we can see the crank still rotate fine, but uh, the wheel, I mean the, the bike itself will have to go to the trash yard for a cycle. And yeah. Now I'm without a normal bike, I don't have even a road bike, I don't have even a mountain bike, only some city bike and a kitsch chair, so maybe until next year it will be just fine. So these are the parts, reassemble all the, the parts which are still good, I will use it, uh, mainly the V-brakes are still good, uh, this is the Garmin uh, speed and cadence sensor. Garmin uh, edge holder, some uh, light rear derailleur, front derailleur, bottle cages, 